turn around. It's too late now. I don't need your love. I don't need support from these niggas. What's YouTube? It's for Base Fat and I'm back in a video man today. I got y'all with the most balanced build in 2K20. This is the most balanced build, and I think it's the greatest build. It's not bad at all though. Um we're just gonna jump into it. Um this is the most balanced build you're gonna find in terms of like badges, balance that like you know like badges are balanced, attributes are pretty balanced too, number all that doesn't matter, let's just get into it. And first things first, you're gonna go with this pie chart here. This is the best pie chart in the game. If you, other than the playmaking pie chart, this one's the best point guard pie chart. But other than that, this works for centers. This works for every position, bro. This you can't go wrong. Oh, this pie chart's actually. But you know what I'm saying. If you want to be a good shooter, a good defender, this pie chart's really good for you. And um, offer up. I think you can either go with this, this, or this. Um, me personally, I feel like 78 vertical is pretty fine. So. You want as much speed as possible, and you're just gonna max out some slashing. You actually get 12 slashing badges on this build, which is not bad at all. Uh, do max out standing dunk, gives you a little more points. Uh, not much of a difference, but it is a little difference to the point where you know helps out. And put these, you get 13 shooting badges. I know that's not a lot, but that's all you really need. You think about it, you don't really need that much shooting badges. Shooting is a all you can quick draw range center hot and hunter, you're good. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna go with twelve playmaking, not thirteen. If you do thirteen, it's gonna mess up your defense and defense is key here. Perimeter, you want perimeter lateral quickness. You don't even have to upgrade your rebound if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I mean you throw the rest on the rebound. Just to get thirteen badges and look at those badges, man. Twelve, thirteen, twelve, thirteen. Bro, that's looking fire to me. You're looking at 50 badges right there. I mean, that's that's not too bad at all, you know. So you're looking at a good 50 badges. Um, yeah, you can go whatever you want, slight, whatever. And you're gonna go six five. Actually, go to fine, but like, let's just be honest. Slight, you're just too skinny to the point where they can do. Yeah, six five. You still get a 75 ball control. Um, lower the weight. You don't really. You want to be as fast as possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could either go, here's an option here, either way works, but you're going to get two different names. You can go long wingspan, and let's show what happens, um, obviously go lock takeover, it's the best, I'm actually not, go, go slash and takeover, slash and takeover is the best, it gives you plus side to everything, but you'll be, you're getting a facilitating finisher, but you see how balanced the build is, right, but if you want to have a better name, which me personally, I'm going to be going for this better name here, um, just lower the wingspan down. And you grab shot creating takeover because since you don't even get slash and take over here, just grab shot creating. And you're going to be getting a two way three level facilitator, which I feel like that is a way better name. So, me personally, I'm going with this. I'm, if I were to make this build, I would be going with this. Maybe go lock take. I don't know. Either takes bad, either takes good. I mean, but yeah, let's just get into some gameplay, bro. <laughs>
what I make, these times about eight. I put in the hours, this broke nigga sour. I'm getting the chicken, the season the flower, the weed getting louder. See, I'm in my zone, nigga, just leave me alone.